hard way because <laughs> there were no videos it seemed on YouTube about how to go about adding um, Printify to Wix. Uh, that part was online, but how to organize it wasn't. And I was having a really hard time seeing it working because when you went onto my website, all the Printify supplies was just there and it was disorganized. Hold on. Oh, Momo, help me with this video. There we go. Now it's immediately better. It has Momo. And this makes it so much. Thank you. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, so this is me explaining how I went about organizing Printify the collection or into collections so that when people visit my website to buy supplies, now they can just do the filtered process. And if they're searching for something in particular like art prints or t-shirts, they'll be able to easily get to that instead of having to scroll through a million things. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it helps and uh, good luck. I know I'm going through it too. It's very frustrating, but we can do it and it'll be great. Okie dokes, let's get started. I wanted to show you my Printify account so you can kind of see what I was looking at and all these things when I first connected Printify to Wix, um, which you can find tutorials on on YouTube for connecting it. But when I first did that, they all shuffled into Wix on one page, which was great. And they looked awesome, but like I said, they were all compiled together on one page and I didn't like that. So. This is the first step. You'll open up your uh, Wix uh, dashboard and you can see on the left side, you're gonna hit store products and then you're gonna go down to collections. I didn't even know this was there until I went through the edit format and had to click on my collection or my pictures and bring it up that way. So that's another way to get into it. But you'll see the collections and you're going to hit new collection at the top right, that blue button. That's gonna bring you into the collection area. And now you get to name your collection. So you can title it whatever fits the type of products you wanna put in it. And just keep in mind, this is going to be uh, basically one of the categories on your list of filter things. So if you have like a lot of t-shirts, maybe you only sell t-shirts, maybe the title should be something more specific like women's t-shirts or floral t-shirts or whatever you're going for, tank tops, it could be, you know, categorization in that way. And then you can scroll down, you'll actually see when you go to add the items, you can scroll through this list and you can pick out specifically uh, what items match that description that you want the collection to be about. As you can see here for this test run, I made mine just called Floral Design, so I'm picking out anything that had flowers in it uh, that I have actively on my Printify uh, and I'd like to have in this collection. All right, and then once you have added those items, they'll show up in this big menu list. On the right, you can see collection image, the little box is there, you click that and you can open it up and either scroll through to pick out your image, or I like to type in part of an image name that I know will fit, like floral, and you'll notice the top line is my products, or are my products. Right underneath that are, I think, like random images you can use. You don't wanna use an image that's not your own to represent your product, so, def so be sure to add an image that is yours. Now we'll hit save, and then add now. And this is going to load our editor website so we can see the collection box on our page. Sometimes I feel like ordering a pizza because it takes a while to load, but it's okay. All right. And then, uh, now I'm on my iPad, it's a little bit harder to navigate on here, so I accidentally grabbed my blog box and was changing that. Don't do that. Um, but you can open up your main page menu and then select the page that you want your collection to be on. Um, on the computer, it actually just popped up on the page I already was on, so it's great to, before doing all this, to be on that page, um, but in the iPad version, it just showed it this way. And then you can hit add this collection to an existing page, check that it's the right page you want it to be on, and then hit add now. And you'll notice it just kind of slaps itself onto the top 
which again is frustrating with the iPad. I, I really have a hard time navigating Wix for some reason, so I just kind of let it sit there. But the idea is that you could then scroll it down and find a spot below your main menu to fit it in, um, you know, where, where you want it to go. Now these collections are going to show up, as far as I know right now, they're going to stay on your page. I thought that was kind of weird because I expected since I could choose a filter option that I would then be able to hide the collections that I made um, but I think it works like in order to have a collection be in the filter menu you have to have it displayed on the page as well but that's okay because it kind of works like here's more products you know if, if the person scrolls all the way down they'll be able to see that I wanted to show you though how to go about making this filter collection um, so you actually can go click on the collection box, it'll open up this little menu um, and you can click filters and then scroll down and you'll notice that your collection name is now there. You just check mark the box off and now the collection will appear in the filter category area of the collection. Um, and that's what we initially saw when we opened up this page, it said filter by and then and that's what customers are going to be able to see so they can select through the options. Um, I had done that beforehand. Maybe I'll make another video on exactly how to go about doing that. But from what I remember, you basically just click, you know, same process. You click your collection box, open it up, and, um, and then it will have an option for you to make filters and you can select that. I wanted to show you also what my website looks like now um, with the collections on there. So it's under my shop oil paint pixie art tab. You go into the menu and you can just kind of look at this top menu that has all the filtered collections that I'm talking about. And this is great because yeah, people can click through it, find all your products. Um, and yeah, so I showed a couple of mine, like my, I love my pets category now. It's so fun. <laughs> so I'm working on that, but, um, and then great when you go and select one thing, it'll pop up a menu, uh, so you can see your product. These were also things though that I selected within that little manage menu that I've, I've been talking about so much. Um, so I made it a pop-up menu. There's different options you can have. It just, when people click on a product, it goes into their cart and it doesn't pop up with a menu. So you can look through that, you know, on your own time. Also, let me show you when you scroll down to the bottom of the page, uh, this is what I'm talking about with where the collections show up. It's just going to be at the bottom. All right, that's about all. If you liked this video, please don't forget to leave a comment and like it and subscribe and all that good stuff um, to let me know that you're interested in me making more videos like this. I hope it was helpful and good luck.